Today marks a very special event in the academic lives of our teacher candidates. But before we formally start, let us show our respect to our mighty creator through an invocation to be immediately followed by the singing of the Philippine National Anthem and the TRC hymn. Time. 
conceptual and intellectual, abstract and concrete, creative and sequential. Teaching is all of these things. It's about individuals but through the lens of ideas. Teaching and learning are both causes and effects, whether it's about material, hearts, minds, past, and future. Good day everyone and welcome to the first ever pinning ceremony of the Education Department of Tomas del Rosario College. And to welcome us with warmth and joy in today's ceremony, let us have our very proactive and supportive Vice President for Academics, Student Affairs and Extension Services, Dr. Mercedes G. Sanchez for her welcoming remarks. A blessed day to everyone. First of all, let me give my sincerest appreciation to Mom Rochelle Raimundo Villarias for coming up to this kind of academic exercise, which is the pinning ceremony. Secondly, let me also congratulate all our beloved students for reaching this far in your career journey. Despite all odds and the struggles you had experienced due to pandemic and other family concerns. This activity, the pinning ceremony, though symbolical, should have very significant influence for you. Why? Because it speaks of your achievement from first year up to this year. You have learned several theories and principles of teaching and learning, strategies and methods of teaching, classroom management, and other related academic concerns. And during your last year, I'm very confident that these concerns, these learnings, are of all significant help to you in your internship. Like the practice in the military, every time the man in uniform achieve, medal is pinned to them or to him a symbol of good service and promotion. The completion of all your achievements is fast approaching and you are all candidates for another achievement. Hence, let me be the first one to congratulate you as I do welcome everyone for the first pinning ceremony of the Department of Education of Tomas Rosario College. Thank you and Godspeed. Mabuhay kayong lahat. travel the road in reaching our dreams and aspirations in life, we meet people who along the way imprinted inspirations in our hearts that we may be a better version of ourselves and that we may also reach our goals. On this note, let me introduce to you a person whom we can be our inspiration as future teachers. She is presently a kindergarten teacher with a teacher one rank in the city of Balanga Elementary School, an alumna of our beloved institution, Tomas de Rosario College, and batch 2017 Summa Cum Laude. Let us have Miss Arare A. Reyes for her inspirational message. Future educators, faculty, families, and friends, good day to everyone. Thank you for inviting me and having me here in your pinning ceremony. I am honored and truly humbled to be back here in my alma mater, Tomas Del Rosario College, as your speaker in this important ceremony. 
This pandemic has been a challenge to everyone. It has been a challenge to you, future educators, as you engage in the new normal learning and teaching. That is not what you experienced before, not what was taught, not what you read, nor what you heard from the stories from your teachers. But you did it. So today, we celebrate you. We celebrate your dedication to become a teacher. We celebrate your sleepless nights studying, preparing for your lessons as a student teacher. We celebrate your sweat and tears because of your hard work and discipline in achieving your dreams. Today, we celebrate one of your biggest milestone yet, one of your answered prayers, you becoming one step closer on becoming an educator. Today is a very symbolic and meaningful day as you now accept the responsibility and the commitment in molding our future generations. Teachers are nation builders, so now we can say that you now officially have the commitment in building the nation, making them as future leaders. So today I am honored to be speaking on behalf of my co-educators so you get to have a glimpse of what would it be like in the future, um, the process or the journey on becoming an educator, and some words that could inspire you in this vocation. I was once in your position five years ago. I know the feeling of anxiety, disappointment, the tiredness, and all the tasks needed to be accomplished on becoming a teacher. I also remember the sleepless nights studying and preparing lesson materials when I was a student teacher. I remember feeling anxious on some days, fear of failing and doing something wrong or teaching something wrong. I also remember how nervous I am on meeting the school head and other teachers. But then again, I also remember the feeling of joy because of being accomplished, the appreciation of pupils towards you, the thank yous and hoping to see you again the next day. You know, those are the moments that I think that makes all those scary feelings all worth it. Be proud today because you successfully achieved all of that. Be proud dahil papakawalan na kayo. And take note, hindi na kayo nakakahiyang pakawalan. At alam kong ready na ready na ang lahat. Dahil sa lahat ng mga natutunan nyo sa mga guro at sa mga natutunan nyo sa paaralan na ito. So you should take pride on that. So let's celebrate today as you commit on becoming an educator. But let me tell you that this is not the end. Ika nga ni Dr. Jill, papunta pa lang tayo sa exciting part. But let me rephrase that. Papunta pa lang tayo sa daunting yet exciting part. I'm not gonna lie or sugarcoat this that the path that you will take after graduating is easy. Kung nahirapan kayo as a student teacher, mas mahirap ang susunod na kabanata. So prepare yourselves. Palaksin nyo yung katawan ninyo, patatagin ng mga puso at isipan, because it's not all the time papapor sa inyo ang mga pangyayari. Makakaranas kayo ng mga disappointment, but that's okay. Bangon ng ulit. Ika nga, papunta pa lang tayo sa nakakatakot, ngunit nakakapanabik na parte ng ating buhay. Looking back upon graduating, kung iisa-isahin natin ang proseso, magre-review kayo para sa board exam, magtay ng examination at pagkapasa, mag-a-apply ng trabaho at kapag nakapasok na, it doesn't stop there. Your journey once again starts. Your first time will always be scary yet exciting experience. First time umapak sa school, first day of class as a teacher, first time na mamit ang co-teachers and principal, your first class observation, first time umaten ng seminar, etc. I remember saying this five years ago on my graduation speech. Do all the things that scare you. Because they're all worth it. You know, It has become my mantra ever since. And I'm going to say it again for you. Do all the things that scare you. Because they're all worth it. You know, 
the gratitude or appreciation of the learners, their parents to you because you are doing your job as a teacher. Yung napatuto mo ang isang bata are all worth it lahat ng pagod at pangamba at sakripisyo na mararanasan mo. As you get to have a glimpse of the future or as you look forward on becoming a teacher, itong mga nauna kong na-share ay mga tasks or process or experiences lamang na nasa ibabaw or surface level ng pagiging guro na of course, essential niyong malaman. But I'd like to take this opportunity before we end for us to reflect on what it really means to be an educator. What is your goal as an educator? Kailangan alam mo yan before you start, di ba? Kailangan natin ng objective o goal to guide our actions and decisions as a teacher. Let us reflect sa napapanahong pangyayari sa ating bansa. Ang eleksyon. Natapos na ang eleksyon. We elected the leaders that we think is best to lead our country for the next six years. Iba-ibang mga pananaw, iba-ibang mga opinion. There is love in the air, may unity, may camaraderie, may mga pagtutulungan na nangyayari sa ating komunidad nitong mga nakalipas na buwan. But then again, there's also hatred happening. May mga salitang nabitawan na mahirap mabawi. May mga nakasakit ng damdamin at may mga relasyong nasira dahil sa nangyaring um, event na ito sa ating bansa. So, as an educator, what can we do? You know, this is the perfect time to think of your goal as an educator. You know, instead of hatred and close-mindedness, di ba mas magandang we form a generation founded on love, respect, integrity, kindness, and humility. You know, teaching the mind is one thing, but teaching the heart should be the top priority or top of our goal as an educator. As of today, we are holding you responsible and accountable in educating your future learners, educating the community, leading by example, empowering the youth. You know, we're nation builders. You know, let's turn our today's learners and turn them into tomorrow's leaders who are kind, humble, honest, and respectful. As an education, let us think of how we can educate the heart of our future generation, which is very relevant in these times. As a kindergarten teacher, you know, this reminded me of this book by Robert Fulgham. All I really need to know, I learned in kindergarten. You know, share everything, play fair, don't hit people, put things back where you found them, clean up your own mess. Don't take things that aren't yours, say you're sorry when you hurt somebody, wash your hands before you eat. No, those are the basic rules in children that we teach as their teacher. So as an educator, let's not deviate on character education, teaching them good manners and respecting other people. Because when we start with their attitude and character, everything else follows. They have discipline and responsibility in their own learning. You know, it wouldn't be nice that as an educator, we get to be part of this young people being true, God-fearing, and respectful leader in our community. And that will be the challenge that I will leave to you today. As of today, we welcome you to the profession. Congratulations, God bless, and good luck. very much Ms. Araray Areas for sharing with us a vivid narration of your experiences that definitely inspired us. And now let us have Dr. Mercedes G. Sanchez, Vice President for Academics, Student Affairs and Extension Services, and Dr. Luisa M. Isidro, OIC College Dean and Department Chair, to present the Certificate of Appreciation for our inspirational speaker, which read Tomas Del Rosario College, Capital Drive, San Jose, Balanga City, Bataan, 
Education Department presents this certificate of appreciation to Ms. Ara Ray A. Reyes for imparting her valuable insights and inspirations to the teacher candidates of the Bachelor of Elementary Education of Tomas del Rosario College during the virtual painting ceremony. Given this 27th day of May 2022 in the city of Balanga, Bataan. Signed Rochelle Arvilla Rias, Maed College Supervisor, Luisa M. Isidro, PhD, OIC Dean and Department Chair, and Mercedes G. Sanchez, Vice President for Academics, Student Affairs, and Extension Services. To give us the significance of this ceremony, let us have our ever-supportive and optimistic OIC College Team and Education Department Chair, Dr. Luisa M. Isidro. Good day to everyone. First of all, I would like to congratulate our 18 teacher candidates who are soon to be professional teachers. Today's event is the first ever ceremony ceremony conducted by the Education Department of Tomas de Rosario College. The Pini Ceremony is an occasion of for all new teacher candidates to acknowledge teachers' deep dedication to the institution and profession, as well as their commitment to helping society as a whole in one of the most noble professions. It also represents a teacher's assumption of responsibility for the child's holistic learning and development, as well as broader commitment to society to engage, understand, support, and transform. Participating in today's ceremony demonstrates your deep commitment to the work and relationships that exist between teachers and students, family, community, and society. The act of receiving the pin signifies a commitment to and an appreciation of the work of the profession. We're joining together in solidarity, camaraderie, and mutual support for a great cause, hard labor, and dedication to a cause much bigger than ourselves. Today, let us all witness the parents of our teacher candidates as they attach the pin that symbolizes their commitment as future educators. Once again, congratulations to all our future professional teachers. Thank you. of pre-service teacher of the Bachelor of Elementary Education of the Mass del Rosario College has been through numerous out-of-the-ordinary circumstances being the first batch of the K-12 transition program. The first batch to have the new college curriculum and a batch that was not exempted from learning through online means due to the COVID-19 pandemic. This group has indeed demonstrated resilience and determination over the years. There is no better word to describe the resilience of these students rather than the word padayon. And now for the highlight of this event, let us have Mrs. Rochelle Arvillarias to call on the names of the teacher candidates for the pinning ceremony. It is my honor to call on the names of the 18 teacher candidates as they receive their pin from their parents. Let me start with John Mark Christopher M. Kayanan. Cyril M. Baluyo. Castillo 
Nancy Chumacera Reynaline I. De La Cruz Rosel P. Di Marucot Rogelin L. Isidro Rehana A. Hasareno Vanessa D. Landicho Congratulations to pre-service teachers of the Bachelor of Elementary Education at Tomas del Rosario College for the academic year 2021 to 2022. We hope that you always wear your pins with pride as you embark on a new chapter of Bachelor of Elementary Education journey. Once again, congratulations! the education community, Tomas del Rosario College helped to create modern teachers through a unifying pledge. These words help to unite the profession and the people in it one force for good. To lead the pre-service teachers pledge, let us have Ms. Renalyn Pinate and Ms. Cyril M. Baluyot. Please raise your right hand and repeat after me. I, Renalyn P. Nate, I, Cyril M. Baluyot, solemnly pledge myself before God, solemnly pledge myself before God, and in the presence of this assembly, and in the presence of this assembly, to pass my life in purity, to pass my life in purity, and to practice my profession faithfully, and to practice my profession faithfully. I will abstain from whatever, I will abstain from whatever is deleterious and mischievous, is deleterious and mischievous, and will not take or knowingly administer any immoral acts, and will not take or knowingly administer any immoral acts. I will do all in my power to maintain, I will do all in my power to maintain and elevate the standards of my profession and elevate the standards of my profession and will hold in confidence all personal matters committed to my keeping and will hold in confidence all personal matters committed to my keeping and all family affairs coming to my knowledge and all family affairs coming to my knowledge in the practice of my calling in the practice of my calling with this loyalty with this loyalty will I endeavor to aid the teacher in his work will I endeavor to aid the teacher in his work and devote myself to the welfare and devote myself to the welfare of those committed to my care of those committed to my care so help me God so help me God Now, let us have Miss Cyril M. Baluyot as she shares her message in behalf of the 18 teacher candidates of Batch 2022. To 
our Vice President for Academics, Student Affairs and Extension Services, Dr. Mercedes Sanchez. To our OIC Dean, Dr. Luisa Isidro. To Ms. Arare Reyes, our guest speaker for today. To our faculty members and staff, to our parents, and to my fellow pre-service teachers, a pleasant day to every one of us. It is our pleasure to have you here celebrating with us. Today, I speak on behalf of the entire class, and we are truly grateful that yes, finally, this day came. I must say that despite of our difficulties and all the trying times we experience, we consider ourselves fortunate. Because even though things happen out of our control, we still manage to come here at this point. Life is indeed full of surprises. And our journey in this milestone as a student was twisted from how it was used to be. We were startled when we knew that there would be an additional two years before we graduate high school. Imagine two year journey before we end the high school. Ang dami-dami naming pinagdaanan, ang dami-daming humadlang bago namin marating ang college life. And that reality shocked us. But still, we are thankful for that. Because it made us empowered heading to our next journey, the college life. The first year of our college life was so exciting. We are acquainted with new people, new classmates, new friends, and new experiences. But who would have thought that a pandemic would come in the middle of our second year college? Questions are scattered in our mind. Paano tayo mag-aaral? Magtatagal kaya yung pandemic? Titigil ba tayo? Paano na yung research? And the most important question is, paano na yung deployment natin sa actual classroom setup? Since that day, we become so worried about what tomorrow's will bring because of the sudden outbreak. Everyone are wondering, visualizing, and planning. And we are praying that hopefully we can arrive to a better plan to answer our queries on how to cater the needs of pre-service teachers. We are so grateful that faculty members, and especially to our mom Rochelle Villarias, that they are eager to think of any possible way for us to experience the exciting part of being an education student, the internship. The deployment of pre-service teacher to the actual class and witness the real classroom scenarios. Sabi nga nila, papunta na tayo sa exciting part. Yes, we experience observing classes, meeting diverse learners, witnessing different teaching strategies of facilitators, how a variety of theorists were applied, and many more. And that happened virtually. We also did our practice teaching and final demo through online classes. Our experiences might be different from how it should be because of the new normal setup. Maybe some of you may say, sayang, hindi nyo na experience yan face to face. Yes, you're right. Maaaring sayang. But for us who experience those things, we can say na walang nasayang. Maaaring iba ang naging takbo ng proseso. Maaaring iba't iba ang mga naging karanasan. But what matters the most is we learn. And we will bring all of those in the field of teaching. We are so grateful that despite of our obstacle, we witness and understand the responsibilities of teacher beyond teaching. The experiences we had was so astonishing. And I must say that those challenges are not only to measure how strong and determined we are in reaching our dreams, but a challenge that gives me a reason to remember the two words that most of our instructors kept on saying since we are in the first year college. Flexibility and creativity. 
which help us to strengthen those areas during this time of online classes. The creativity that enable us to make online classes engaging to a wide range of students. That skills ensures us that we can teach subject matter with quality. It helps us to think of appropriate approaches considering the situation we have, applicable activities, providing learning experiences in their homes, and to choose educational application applicable to all learners. Furthermore, flexibility tests us too early. The online classes brought us to a different situation and that challenged us to adapt to a new scenario where everyone is not used to online classes. And I'm proud to say that we made it. And it proves that nothing is impossible when you are determined to reach for your dreams. Before we arrived to our goal, we had to travel to a long and widening road filled with hardship and surprises. And this post painting ceremony deserved nothing though. Congratulations, educators! It is indeed a successful event. An event made possible through the collaborative efforts of the Education Department. And to formally close this event, let us have the 4th Class President, Ms. Rehana A. Hazareno, for her closing remarks. Ladies and gentlemen, before this ceremony comes to an end, I would like to congratulate the Education Department instructors, our Dean Dr. Luisa Isidro, our department head, Mrs. Rochelle R. Villarias, our student teachers organization headed by Ms. Alenate, the pre-service teachers, our ever-loving parents, as well as our friends and all that have a part to the success of this momentous virtual painting ceremony. We will keep in mind and always apply the basic rules of teaching the children and will not deviate in teaching character education. For we also believe that everything starts with their attitudes and character and then everything will follow. We will take responsibility in shaping respectful, disciplined, and responsible leaders in our community. The painting ceremony is our one step closer to being called teachers and serves as our send-off and as initiation in the world of teaching. During our practice teaching, we have learned all the things that we cannot learn inside the four corners of our classroom, for we have dealt with actual experiences. Though, we have been prepared with knowledge, theories, and principles of teaching, but nothing can prepare us more with actual experiences. Pre-service teachers, may we take with us all the necessary skills, knowledge, and experiences that we have had during our practice teaching that made us a better teacher. Again, congratulations! We have worked hard and I am so proud of us. God bless us all. Congratulations everyone! This is Therese Joyce M. La Peña saying, To God be all the glory! Hoping you take that jump and don't fear the fall Hoping the water rises and you build the wall When the crowd screams out, they're screaming your name Hope if everybody writes, you choose to stay Oh, 
Yeah. 